Well, after heading back from a relaxing month in Myrtle Beach, I was in South Carolina and it happened to me a second time, a blowout on uh, Route 26. Now, what's surprising is that both times I've had the blowout, and I did a video on one earlier, I really had no idea I had a blowout. It wasn't until people pulled up next to me on the road and were waving like that, I realized there's something wrong, I pulled over. The first time, as I explained in my other video, it was the front, right, rear, and uh, this time it was the back, right, rear. And again, I, I, I do blame possibly the tires. Certainly that's the section of the road where all the main potholes are. So as you're traveling up and you're trying to weave your way around it, it's hard to miss a lot of them. So I do know they were properly inflated, but after the last blowout in this one, I went and I bought a, a, uh, an air compressor, a portable air compressor. So I, I checked the tires regularly. The pressure was good. They weren't worn. This particular tire that blew out had under 5,000 miles on it, so I know that the tire was good. It just blew. So that being said, I decided I've had enough. Uh, the first time it ran me $350 because they wanted to replace the tire with another tire. Uh, that's the only the way they would do the job, so I paid them. This time here, uh, the gentleman that came out would change the tire, but it was $100 cash, no paperwork. I was happy to pay it. It got me back on the road. So both times they were expensive. Both times I ended up with shredded tires. And again, both times I had no idea I even had a flat tire. So that being said, Mary and I are heading west. We're hitting national parks, national forests. And even though we have Good Sam that works very hard at this, the second trip, Good Sam spent three and a half hours before finally finding somebody that would come out. But by then I had already handled the situation. So we started thinking that if we're in Yellowstone, we're in Glacier uh, National Park up in Canada, we're not going to get anybody that's going to come out and change our tire for us. So we're going to have to become self-sufficient and do it ourselves. So we got smart, we got educated, uh, went out and uh, bought a good impact driver gun uh, along with sockets. So now I'll be able to get the lug nuts off myself, where usually I, at my age I just can't, I can't work them off, they're just on so tight. So that problem solved. The next problem I looked into was is the jack. You know, you're trying to climb underneath with the barrel jacks and cranking it up, and you're climbing underneath uh, the trailer. And if you've ever done it on the side of the road, the trailers are swaying as the, uh, as the trucks come by in the passing lanes. They try and move over when they can, but often they can't. So I went out and I bought a two and a half ton, uh, if you want to call them the, the racing, they're called the racing... Uh, uh, jacks, uh, new hydraulic, uh, and again, two and a half ton. It's an aluminum, which makes it about 40 pounds lighter than the steel ones, and two and a half tons because in research I found that you need to lift three quarters of whatever you're lifting. Uh, so the two and a half tons would be able to lift uh, one of the tires or my uh, truck if it needed to be. So we spent the money on that. So between the two of them, it's uh, 170, 170, 340, close to $400. But I'm confident the next time I'm out, and it will, it will happen. I will have a blowout. Mary and I put about 30,000 a year on our trailer. We go through a lot of miles on it. It will happen. So we're hopeful at the next time we're going to be able to uh, suffer through it and uh, get ourselves back on the road. While talking to the garage, I found some interesting things. Uh, one, I'm used to truck tires. You know, the truck tire, you look at the treads, and you keep an eye on the treads. And if you look at the old one, if you put a penny in and you get Lincoln's head exposed or shown, it's time to change the tire. What they're telling me, and what I can believe at this point, is that uh, you'll never wear a tire on a trailer out. Uh, they'll blow before you wear them out. It's just they're built differently. Also, I asked him, I said, well, how many miles should I be able to get out of these tires? And he said, they're not rated that way. They're not rated by how many miles. You just got to keep an eye on them. So I said, well, what am I looking out for? I said, you know, these tires look good to me. He says, and he brought me over to the other side. Now, the other side, the tires got about 40,000 miles on it. This would be on my driver's side. And he showed me one, and he showed me how it was starting to bow out like this. It started to get a little crown to it. And he said, this tire is ready to blow. And he said, on a trailer tire, unless it is totally uh, horizontal, as it starts bowing, the treads start going, the belts start going inside of it. And the more it bows out, it'll eventually blow. So it'll, he told me that 
Don't ever expect to wear out a, uh, a trailer tire. Expect them to blow. So I looked at that. I had one blown already. I had two on the left side that were a little worn. And to be honest, I was having trouble justifying the Chinese tires. So I heard that Goodyear came out with the Endurance brand. And uh, luckily he had eight of them in stock. I only needed four. I did take one of the better ones and put it as a spare. So I went and got four brand new Goodyear Endurance tires. They look good. I've got pictures attached to them. I also have pictures attached showing you the latest blowout. Uh, I also got pictures attached showing you the repair I did up underneath the wheels. Both times when they blew out, of course, the belts shear and it spins and it rips up your underlayment of your uh, trailer right through the, uh, the protective barrier at the bottom. If you don't tape it up or seal it, you're going to kick water up into it and then you're going to start rotting your flooring out from underneath. Uh, it'll start getting soft. It's, it is a marine uh, particle board, if you want. Not even particle, it's wafer board, which is even worse, which is nothing but glued chunks of wood into it, pressed into a board. So what I did is I climbed up underneath I took uh, gator tape, the best stuff in the world, gator tape, and I stripped it this way, I stripped it that way, and I stripped it that way again. I covered it all up. It worked just fine. I got pictures of that attached. So, you know, the things we're looking forward to is that we were on the road again. The, uh, the travel uh, here was fine. So another thing we talked about at the, uh, at the repair shop was the pressure. I wasn't sure exactly how much pressure. I know they're rated to 80 pounds because these are these are 10 ply tires, which are rated to 80 pounds. But do you put 80 in it? What do you put in it? And I'm told that you you actually pressurize it by how much you're uh, you're carrying over the tire. In the case of my Cougar, it's about 8,700 pounds. So they suggested I just inflate it to 70. I don't need the maximum. So we have four Endurance Goodyear tires which should get me another 30, 40,000 miles, at least get me through the national parks. I have the jack. I have the impact gun. I've got the wrenches. So if I'm ever on the side of the road, I don't have to wait and hope that somebody will actually come and bail me out. And uh, again, like I said, this year we're doing the national parks. And next year we're hoping to do the Alaska uh, gathering that's heading up that way. That being said, I think we're in good shape. I highly recommend uh, thinking if you're going to switch to go over the good years. They are about $40 a tire more expensive. But in my case, I had two different uh, Chinese tires and my newest one blew out. So you just can't, uh, you don't know who made them when it comes in from overseas, or at least we know who made these. Uh, again, I wish everybody the best of luck. They don't have the same issues I have. Again, my issues are mostly because we put a lot of miles on our trailer, not through abuse. Last year, we put 27,000 miles on it. I believe the year before, we put over 20 on it. So we put a lot of miles on it. So you have to expect these kind of issues to happen. But at least we're prepared for the next time, I hope. <laughs> this is used for outdoor staycations. I wish you safe journeys on your travels. Give us a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and look forward to talking to you on our next video.